All right, I have two takes that I want to clarify regarding the whole Rem being a cuck queen situation. The first take is from Mr. Tiger Blank 7446, the comment we're about to read. The second take, I couldn't find the comment. Maybe that guy deleted it. Maybe I banned him accidentally. Uh, n not accidentally, but maybe he said something stupid in a different thread and I banned him there. Therefore, the other comment was deleted. But the other take is basically the rejection from Subaru is justified because Rem rejected Subaru first. That's such a stupid fucking take that I'll dissect after this. But hey, Mr. Tiger Blank 7446 says, Again, when Rem said, I love you to Subaru, she did not do that to be with Subaru. I think that's such a lie. She was not expecting Subaru to say, I love you too. All right, all right, all right. Let's take that part. I got the episode right here. What does it mean when Rem literally says, you ask all disc of someone you just rejected? That's implying that there was a confession or some sort of request, some sort of affection sent towards Subaru that got denied. And what was that deny? I love Amelia, right? So could you not then assume that Rem went in there with the intention of attaining Subaru's love. Of course, Rem saying all this shit, and even the rejecting Subaru part, we'll talk about to later, was because of how Rem sees Subaru as a hero. You are my hero. Right now, you're perceiving yourself as a loser, but I've seen what you could do in Arc 2. I don't want you to give up. You chasing after Amelia from the beginning is the heroic Subaru that I remember, and I want you to pursue that. But even if that's the case, Rem literally said, I love you. And then Subaru says, I love Amelia. And then Rem says, you ask all of this to someone you just rejected when Subaru asks, can you help me? Isn't the most baseline intuition here, like the most like level one way of thinking is Rem got rejected of her love? So how could you then say she's not expecting Subaru to say I love you too? And at the end of the day, if this is your own personal opinion of your interpretation, there's nothing wrong with it. But the moment that you phrase your comments like this, as if your headcanon, your opinion is a fucking fact that the writer of ReZero, Tape, literally stated, I don't know. If, he, if the author specifically stated that, specifically stated that Rem was never expecting Subaru to say, I love you back, and this is all some sort of platonic love of her seeing this idealized hero of Subaru, then I'll concede. For sure, because that's the author is intending the story to be. But a lot of people have their own fucking headcanon opinions. And we're all just dumb monkeys. We're just sharing our opinions. But sometimes, you're saying this shit like it's a fucking fact. Rem just said that because Subaru is feeling so bad for himself. He feels so pathetic. He literally hates himself. I'm not disagreeing with you. That's the way that Subaru is perceiving himself. To Rem, Subaru is a hero. Rem knows this. That's why Rem said all that. To let Subaru know all the wonderful things. Exactly. Yes, we're all on the same point here. You're on point. Everything you said is correct. Subaru kept talking. Yes, exactly. The perceived, right? The negative perception of himself. But Rem reminded him all the good things he has done. Exactly. Even if you hate yourself for being pathetic, other people... Exactly. All of this is literally from the story, right? Absolutely perfect. But then, how do you jump to this conclusion? That somehow the I love you was platonic? And that it was all because of how negative you're perceiving yourself and i'm just saying i love you to cheer you up okay if that's the case then why would she say this why would you care that a platonic i love you quote unquote got rejected if not you should be happy right when he says i love amelia after saying i love you and if you're going with the intention that rem did not expect anything back why would she say this is this not a rem stand with the rem profile picture that is on another level of cope to justify why their favorite girl did not get the affection of the main character? I don't know. Again, if the author specifically stated this, right? If the author specifically stated this, I'll concede as that's the actual fact. But you motherfuckers are stating this as if your headcanon is a fact. And that's the thing that pisses me off. I'm totally fine with monkey opinions. I, my entire channel is just monkey opinions, but you choose to click on the videos and hear my takes because they're grounded in reality and logic. And what I'm watching, when I'm reading that dialogue, not a single point did I even think that Rem did not expect the I love you back, nor was it platonic, nor was she not expecting love. She is literally competing against a fucking land dragon. 
You understand how ridiculous that is right now? She is competing with the fucking land dragon right now because Subaru said love at first sight. I don't know, bro. Exactly. Also, Rem literally said Subaru is my reason to die. Rem literally says I love you to Subaru after saving him and unfreeing him to shackles. Despite all of that, do you think that she wasn't expecting an I love you back? I just feel like that's a little bit of cope. But again, if the author specifically stated this, then I'll concede. The second point. The second point is this. Lamau, Rem rejected Subaru first. So Subaru rejecting Rem is okay. Okay, 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 okay. What I'm realizing is that there's a lot of monkeys that don't critically think and tries to immediately think about simple things that may seem wrong and use that as an argument, as a talking point. But then if you actually think about it, you realize how stupid this is. And let me explain. When Rem rejected Subaru first, where was it, right? Hold on. Sorry, sorry. One second, one second. Let me just resize this shit. When Rem rejected Subaru first, why did she reject Subaru? First of all, when Subaru asked Rem for, you know, let's run away together, there was nothing romantic there in my opinion. I think that he was at his wit's end, and the one partner that he has was nice to just kind of run away with. But when Rem rejects Subaru, do you know why she rejected Subaru? Because she loves Subaru and the hero that he can be in Arc 2. The Subaru that he remembers chasing after Amila to save her, that heroic Subaru is what Rem loves. She doesn't want him to give up. And then, she then even goes to talk about the marriage. The fantasy fucking theory. She wrote her entire fucking fanfic so much in detail. that She even talked about the potential kids, the potential jobs they're gonna have. She had all of that in. So when you say Rem rejected Subaru, right? You're thinking, oh, Rem rejected Subaru as in the love was denied. Therefore, Subaru rejecting Rem's love is okay. No, you dumbass. You're just saying that because it sounds good to you, but then you start to think about it and you realize this rejection is not denying the love from Rem. She literally thought about the family they would have together. How could you possibly think that this take justifies Subaru rejecting Rem? No, you're just a Rem hater. You have not given a single thought beyond just thinking that this looks bad on the outside and you latch onto it. So many people straight up don't know how to critically think. They don't know how to follow a logical tree of decision making. They see something at a first glance that makes Rem or Subaru look bad and tries to latch onto it to make them seem bad. But again, I think that this is one of the fucking dumbest takes. So fucking dumb. If you thought about it for a second, this, the episode literally disproves that. But that's pretty much it. I think that again, like there's nothing wrong with saying your opinion. Just fucking say in my opinion. Don't fucking tell me like <laughs> again when Ram said like this is the thing that pisses me off. Motherfucker is typing like this like <laughs> again cock on TV. You did not listen to my last comment. Like shut the fuck up. What you're saying is a fucking headcanon. You're projecting others as a fucking fact. If the author stated it, then I'll concede. But until then, you're fucking capping as much as I'm capping. But at the very least, I'm capping with actual fucking dialogue and critical thinking. Go fuck yourselves. I'll see you next time.